Hey guys, this is Ramesh from C4 Tech, and today I have a list of three launchers that I think are worth your time. Let's get started. The first one on the list is the Nokia Z launcher. This is a launcher designed by Nokia Apps. It's fairly simple, light and innovative launcher that works pretty well. Right off the bat, the first thing you would notice is the simplicity of it all. The home page consists of a clock widget, a list of your most recently used apps, contacts, and lower below we have a bunch of apps like phone, camera, app drawer, etc. Swiping right would take you to all the apps that you have installed on your phone. Basically a vertical app drawer and swiping left would get you to the screen where you can add widgets. Now we get to the fun part. You can search for an app from the home screen by simply tracing the first letter of the app name and swipe horizontally to dismiss the last character traced. This is something that takes some getting used to but once you are familiar with it, it's a lot of fun. This is a free launcher and we'll have direct links to all the launchers we talk about in the description below. Next up, we have the Hola launcher. This is a bit more feature packed than the Nokia Z launcher, so it's one of the more intuitive launchers I have used. It has Omni Swipe built into it and is ideal for use on smartphones with larger displays. Swipe in from either side of the bottom of the screen and we get to Omni Swipe. We have three tabs. Frequent lists the most used apps in a two layered ring, thereby providing quick access to all of the maps. Recent, on the other hand, lists the most recently used apps. There could be some redundancies here, seeing as your frequently used apps can also be a recently used apps. The toolbox, on the other hand, provides a quick way to toggle on or off a few system settings like brightness, the sound vibrate profile, Bluetooth and data connections. We see something that says Boost. Boost effectively kills all background apps and thereby frees up RAM and arguably conserves battery. We have a few preloaded apps and widgets here, like the flipboard to the far left of the home screen, which they call the Holocene. And my favorite is the Roll. Let me give you a disclaimer here, it adds no value except the fact that it is a fun way to get recommendations of apps, wallpapers and that kind of thing. At first glance there seems to be no app drawer, but the AZ widget can perform that function for you. Clicking on it takes you to a vertically scrolling alphabetized app drawer. Once this launcher is activated, all the apps that you have installed get sorted into folders and I've got to say that the organizational capabilities of this launcher is commendable. Apart from that, Swiping in from the bottom gets you into a sort of mini settings where you can add a widget, change wallpapers, launch your settings and even get into the system settings from here. We also have an add-on to double tap to lock the screen by tapping on an empty portion of the screen. So that's Holo Launcher for you. Finally, we have Action Launcher 3. So it's probably the most mature launcher on this list. At first glance, not so much looks different from your stock launcher, touch is in my case. When you swipe in from the left, you get a list of all the apps you've installed on your smartphone and you get a new search toolbar of sorts that can be customized to host the shortcuts you want. Furthermore, if you go into the launcher settings, you find a quick theme option. This allows you to select from a list of presets or create a theme based on the wallpaper you have on your home screen currently. Another noteworthy feature is the fact that you can swipe down from anywhere on the home screen to access the notification drawer against the traditional way of swiping down from the top of the page. And we have a feature called Shutter that makes this launcher unique. Shutters are essentially mini widgets that allow a sneak peek of the app that you want to enter. Swipe up from the icon and you see the app open up in a mini widget with your latest update. This is quite useful in day to day usage. Please note that this feature won't work for all apps although there are a quite a few apps that indeed support this feature. And also this is a feature that is present and accessible only on the paid version of the launcher and the launcher promotes the paid version everywhere. With that being said, I think it's worth the premium. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So that's it for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you feel we deserved it and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, this is Ramesh from C4 Etech. You guys have a remarkable day.